What do you do when you find yourself unmotivated? Well, I'm going to tell you what my game plan is because we're just coming off of a long weekend. And to tell you the truth, I had so many things to do. I just didn't get any of them done. And I got so frustrated. But you know what happens when I find myself not motivated or I'm not getting things done, there's really some reasons for it. One is, you know, I, I kind of feel like an overwhelm. And that's exactly what happened. I had this weekend, I had like a few minutes every day to do something and I would just not get myself going. There's another thing, not only overwhelmed, but there's a, a lack of clarity. You know, I didn't know really know what I needed to do, so I had to study up on everything, and kind of try to figure things out. And it was okay, but yet it just kind of slowed me down. And then the last thing that just really kind of throws me off is kind of protection. And what do I mean by protection? Well, have you ever done something that you're doing out of your comfort zone? Right? Like making a new course or maybe doing videos or visiting people you're not normally with. Well, you know what people do to protect ourselves, we, we usually try to shut down a little bit. So that's what I find what causes me to have a lack of motivation or where I'm getting to the point where I'm not getting much done. So here's what I do. And I think I'm talking five things. We'll see if I remember them all. But the first thing is I just try to do the minimum. Like this morning, I had some things to do. And I just, I thought, you know, I, I'm... I'm not going to get the whole list done. I had a list of 10 things, but I'm going to do this video. I'm going to send out an email. I'm going to do one more video, and then we'll see how the day shakes out. Okay, I'm not going to try to just get everything done because that's where I get into a state of overwhelm. So if I don't feel like doing anything, I do some really funny things. I move. And usually what I do is, if you hear our story, my wife and I live at a lake, I'll go for a walk. It's about a mile walk. I take our dog out and I just try to get out of the RV we're in and create some movement. The second thing is I might meditate. And that sounds weird because I don't really do a lot of meditating. What I do is I get quiet. And to tell you the truth, I talk to God a lot. And I'll ask questions. But when I ask a question, like, how do I get this thing going? I get quiet because I want to hear the answer. I want them to tell me. The next one is I might read. I'm, I'm trying to pick up the habit of reading again. So if I'm kind of stuck, I, I got some positive books. I have some other books that are teaching me things on self-development and on business. I'll get up and I'll try to read a chapter. Right? I just try to do some of the things. And you know what the best thing is I do? <laughs> I told you we live in a lake. I go for a pontoon ride. Just my dog and I, my wife and I, we just go for a pontoon ride. But then there's another thing that I've really learned to do. And I actually got this out of a book I'm reading by John Lee Dumas, I believe the guy's name is. Um, he talks about setting times. So today, this is a Tuesday morning, June 1st. What I did, I said from 9 to 11, I'm going to work. And then I'm going to go for a walk. And I'm going to hold to that. And am I going to work when I come back? I might, but I'll be outside doing something different. I'm trying to finish up. I am making a course, so I'm trying to finish up some videos for it. And I'm excited about it because I'll get that done and, and then I'll be done for the day. The second thing is I just tune out a lot of stuff. <laughs> you know, it, it is so easy. Like I do Instagram Reels and I do TikTok. Well, if I do a TikTok, I end up catching myself watching that dumb thing for about 15, 20 minutes. So I put my phone down so I can get some work done. And then I just kind of tune into what is happening. You know, why am I not getting things done? What should I be doing? What? Where am I at? Where? What's the next step? See, I don't know if that all makes sense. We, we all get unmotivated. The key is you just got to take that next step. One, don't beat yourself up. We're human. Holy shoot. 
And if you're trying to build a business or create a course in particular, because that's what I'm doing, guess what? That's hard. So give yourself a grace period and get it done. Many of my courses, what I'll do, and this one I'm making is a five module course. I'm going to launch it when I have two modules done because I drip out the days. Meaning that if you come on the course, you're going to watch an introduction video and then you have the next, the first module come through. And then you can't get the next one until the next day. So I'll put out two modules and then I'll finish up by the end of the week. So I think you got to give yourself credit. I really do. What I want to know is what do you do when you feel yourself unmotivated? You know, what are your steps? What's your go-to? Because I want to learn from you guys too. So I'm really excited to read your comments. I really am. Tell me, what do you do to get unmotivated? Hey, if this is the first time watching this channel, my YouTube video, Subscribe, hit that notification. If you're hearing this on my podcast, follow with your favorite uh, podcast player. <laughs> I didn't know what I was going to say there. Hey, but comment below. Tell me what do you do to get yourself on motivated. I'd really love to hear it. Y'all take care.